If you guys know what my favorite drink is, you guys know what I was drinking. If not, allow me to let you guys know. It's green tea. But hey, salute and how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the gram. Um, thank you guys for being here. And uh, if you guys did not catch the audio podcast that I just dropped today, um, I'll put it in the story. So check out my stories and there should be a link there to the podcast. But basically, I was just talking about reviewers and their reviews of the Pixel 6 and what I think about their reviews. But that's not what this video is about. This video, we're going to be talking about the blue bubble versus green bubble debacle and how just crazy something like that can be. Um, first of all, uh, for those people who are going to have an opinion, go ahead and share your opinion. But um, if you're going to trash, expect to get garbage thrown back your way. I'm that type of person. And I'm just going to be real about things, okay? Uh, I come from a time where a lot of my friendships and stuff were social interactions face to face in person. They were never really of, um, you know, uh, I'm going to find you on MySpace or anything like that. It was never that type of thing. And, um, you know, I can't knock today's generation. This is what this is what they have. This is what they've been taught to use. And uh, who am I? to really judge a generation and say that they are doing it all wrong. This works for them. It doesn't work for me, but I come from a different generation. But there's one thing that I will speak on, and that's this whole debacle when it has to come with the green messages, the blue messages. <sighs> Let's try that again. The whole debacle that has to do with the green messages and the blue messages and just how crazy that is. The fact is, is that people are literally judging you based upon the color of a message bubble from a message that you send them. And I think that's pretty insane that it's gone to that point. And why is this even a thing? Why have we allowed this to become a thing? Why have we allowed this to be a basis to judge somebody by? I mean, literally, I am reading things on social media where people are talking about that they don't even talk to somebody that has a green message. And somebody goes and posts a thing about that they turn off SMS so they never get green messages. And then, you know, people will ask, well, how do you get two-factor authentications that require an SMS message to be sent to you and all that other stuff? But I'm not out here to outwit anybody and what they do. I'm out here to question as to why it is that way. What has led to this? What does it do that makes it so detrimental that you cannot stand looking at a green message bubble? That's just insane. Um, first of all, green message bubbles versus blue message bubbles on iMessage. And, and it's funny, and this is probably one of the big turnoffs and the reason why that I don't really get wrapped up in the Apple ecosystem. And it's not so much that their products aren't that good. It's just that the, those that are within that ecosystem paint a narrative that just seems so discriminating. Okay. And yes, I'm using choice words like that. You may not think that the green blue bubble message debacle thing can correlate with something such as racism. And it doesn't. Trust me, I'm not here to say that it does. But it kind of does coincide with it because you're making a judgment based on a color. And if you're one that preaches that says, oh, well, I accept everybody for who they are. Color doesn't matter. Then I think that same ideology should apply to something as um, superficial as a message bubble. To say that, you know, you will dismiss somebody as a friend or a potential life partner or anything like that because of the color of their message bubble is ludicrous. We can't judge people based upon the color of a message bubble. And this is why I have a hard time really just kind of soaking all this in. Like, why is this become a thing? Why is it like this? And are people serious or are they just trolling on the internet to have fun when they say stuff like that? Because um, there's people that take it pretty seriously when it comes to the message bubble thing. And it's just like, okay, um, <laughs> like, whoa, what did you smoke today? Um, I purposely like to think that we as humans are a lot better than that. I always like to look at the glass as half full and half empty. So I'm giving humanity the benefit of the doubt to say that most people are trolling about it, but I'm still going to speak on it because there might be somebody out there who actually really does live their life by this. And why do you? See, we have allowed this microcomputer that we all love so much that keeps us connected to the world, allows us to do things like this, like record a video or even live stream. And, um, and, and, and so we use that, um, and, and, uh, you know, we've become addicted to it and we've forgotten certain aspects of what it is to be a human granted. Okay. That's today's generation and it is what it is. But I do want to say this, if I can curb this mentality, I will help in any way that I can, because I think it's absolutely stupid to judge somebody based on the color of a message bubble. 
a message bubble. That's all it is. It's just a message bubble. It's not the person's character. It's not who they are, what they're about. It's not even their first representatives, which if you don't know what that means, sure, I'll break it down for you really quickly. Um, most people, when they meet each other in real life, you're not actually really meeting the real person. You're meeting the representative. You don't meet the real person until you actually spend some time with them a little bit more, and then you start to see their true colors come out. Um, that's That's just how it is. So... Um, but a message bubble can't give you that, can't give you the person's habits, can't give you the person's, um, mentality, the way that they think, um, how they carry themselves. It doesn't give you none of that. Um, all it does is just, it's a bubble that has a color, either blue or green. And in that blue or green bubble has typed out words for you to read. That's all it is. It's just like when people say like, oh yeah, you know, when you're yelling on, on messaging or chatting or whatever, type everything in all caps because that means you're yelling. Like how? How's that yelling? It just just really says I have poor grammar <laughs> to capitalize every letter. Um, but hey, I mean, you know, the people have their things, right? Like acronyms like LOL and ROFL and, you know, whatever else is this <laughs> out there. Um, my thing is this, right? Like, if this really is a thing, then let's stop doing this. Really, let's just stop doing this. Um, if you don't like people judging other people based on colors, then don't judge people based on colors of a chat message bubble because that, that still breeds the same mentality. It's it's judgment to colors. And if that's what we're stopping in this world, then let's stop this. Um, and honestly, someone using an Android phone doesn't mean that they're a bad person. Someone using an iPhone doesn't mean that they're a bad person. Um, judge people on, on your interactions with them as a person, not as in the digital world. Because you can be what you want in the digital world. You know, I'm sure if I put countless hours into my Instagram, I can lie to the whole world and make them think that I'm a multi-billionaire. When in fact, I'm just a poor guy from a little place called Earth. Um, you know, so... <laughs> Let's judge people based on on real social interactions and not something like a chat message bubble. The fact that people are talking about that Apple execs are supporting this, they're calling it bullying, um, whatever the case may be, we can be better people and not judge people based on a message bubble. Again, I'm coming to that whole thing and I just really can't believe that I'm making a video talking about it because I just didn't really think that this was a thing that had to be addressed. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that. L let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Tell me your guys' thoughts on the whole thing. Um, and if you're somebody that has been guilty of this, tell me the real reason why the green bubble bothers you and not some sort of vague answer like, oh, it was because they're using Android. Like, what is it about the green bubble that really turns you off to not even want to read the message? And would you feel the same way if iMessage changed their default iMessage bubble to green and say non-iOS devices to yellow, then uh, is it really the color or is it the type of phone? Do that in the comment section and let me know. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. If you watched it all the way through, hashtag in the comment, real one, so I know you made it through the entire video. I'll talk to you on the next one since Instagram limits me to 10 minutes. But who knows? Maybe I get verified and I'll be able to put up one hour videos. That'd be pretty cool, right? To have an entire hour rant. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go.